thirty anyway. <clears throat> Do, 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 do. Disco City. Okay. We should be up on all destinations. Okay. And we got people viewing on Instagram already. Hello, Instagram viewers. There I am. <clears throat> I just it's, remember what color I'm wearing. They still have to figure out. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I still have to figure out how to with StreamYard like save the Instagram video because it said something like go in your history and it, it, to save so it stays up on ah, Instagram. Right. And I haven't quite figured that out yet. Mm, problem. Well, we'll figure it out tomorrow. We'll look it up. All right. Sam, if you can't play nice with the other children, you're going to be asked to leave the room. <laughs> so, how is everybody since nobody's on yet? Everybody's good. That's good. Yay. Yay. <laughs> <clears throat> so, we just came on. Hello, the official Mortimer. And uh, Fred Chamberlain is watching. Hello, Fred. Hello, Fred. So, actually, you have water, Steve? I'm going to go run and get a water while everybody's coming on anyway. Okay. Well, I will show people what's on the back wall then while you're doing it. I can focus it. Oh, that didn't help. Hello, Kurt's Creations, and hey, Bert's been it. Bertman. I said Bert's now. If it's the Superman. I'll even need all sorts of stuff back there. <laughs> Look at all that fun stuff going on back there. Let's see who's taking over the wall. Mm. Oh, that's at Sarah's house. I, I, have, my, I have my own shelf <clears throat> at so Sarah's. Fred Chamberlain says, hey, Adam's family. And we say, hello, hello. Hey, Fred. So I'm up to six people. So we're just waiting for people to come on. Usually most people start popping in about now. So we're just kind of doodling around. And I know if I start telling, I have a Grandma Adams story. Is it because of, of that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, it's partially that. It's partially something interesting, actually, about your Grandma Shah. Ooh, well, you know more about our grandparents than I do. Yeah, it helps by being 11 years older. <laughs> Might have something to do with it. Oh, Sarah says, the shelf, shelf at my house is lovely. Right. Well, everybody liked that I posted up that. Because I see everybody post stuff like, here's Jack Kirby's art table. And here, <laughs> and here is... You know, whoever yeah, you don't want to see my drawing our list. table, and then there's like some new guys who also showed their our tables, and and I'm like, nobody has our tables like dad. No, <laughs> like I've never seen an art table like dad's. Chaotic, chaotic. Where it's stuff got everywhere, random papers, marker and boxes, and paints, and and only half of the markers are actually in the box. In the, the box. other half of the markers are on the desk. Tape rolls, a couple on the floor, a light box, mm -hmm. ink, tissues, <laughs> paper towels, dead um, Diet Coke. <laughs> unfortunately, I take after dad in that. So I had posted it, but now everybody is like writing really nice things. So uh, Kurt's creation says I am currently working on bringing a Neil Adams style Batman cowl into the 3D world. Cool. Interesting. Love you to, will have to share. Love to see it. Yeah, love to see it when you're done. So anyway, so I have a I have a Adam's family story, actually. Okay. So so we all know that dad grew up with not a lot. And they they grew up very poor. So <clears throat> Grandma Adams, this was when dad was already doing Ben Casey, probably towards the end of Ben Casey maybe starting comic books and uh basically we were we were at grandma's house 
And all of a sudden, Grandma starts painting, like with oil. And I don't think she painted with acrylics because she could get rid of, like, she could always take it away and then repaint it again and take it oh, away. Yeah, and well, you can, yeah, it you, again. Can, you can wipe it down. Right. With the oils. Right. So I'm pretty sure she was doing oil paints. And I was like, but she was really good. She did this, like, really large painting, and it was of, like, mushrooms. Okay. And then she did another painting that was like a purple flower with an icky spider on it, which the spider is what she kept wiping away because she was never satisfied with the spider. And I'm sitting there going, I'm sorry, I missed that. I would have liked that. One. I know. And I and I was like, when did Grandma start like drawing? Like, you know, <laughs> not only is she drawing, but she's like painting. And she's like painting like really well. So it was like, where is this coming from? Because Grandma never drew never did anything pre the day we come over to the house and she's painting mm. and even dad seemed a little shocked that she painted as well like it just came out of like nowhere like we went over there and she was like set up painting and uh and then of course dad gave her a hard time about her paintings because dad has to be dad <laughs> and then she would yell at him to go away and uh and it just like came out of nowhere. And then I realized like, wait a minute, because dad always said grandma had a way of getting him art supplies. Mm -hmm. Even when they had absolutely no money, she would right. like find a way to get him like pencils or get him paper or right. whatever he was drawing on at the time. I know he used to go to the supermarket and, and grab cardboards and yeah. weird stuff like paper that, bags. right. To, to draw on. But uh, she seemed to always supply him with art supplies. Mm -hmm. And then she let him go to art school. So I'm like, maybe Grandma Adam secretly like, had That's a thing art about art mm -hmm. that she never, ever showed or let out till much later. Because mm -hmm. there's actually even a photo of Grandma standing in front of like a fence. And her paintings are like hung on the fence outside, like an art show type of deal, I guess up in Troy, New York, where she was living. Okay, I don't remember that photo. There is a photo. because I, I believe you because you don't. I have seen it. But the cooler part about Grandma Adams was because Zia was like, what What made you get Twinkies today? Because <laughs> we got Twinkies, except this isn't real. These are like fake Twinkies. Because true <laughs> Twinkies, <laughs> true Twinkies come in a pack of two. Yeah. Well, this was a box of Twinkies. Yeah, but I expected packs of Twinkies. No, because the best part of a Twinkie, now I'm going to sound like Neil Adams, mm -hmm. is the goop that, oh, that sticks the, the residue that's on the cardboard <laughs> is the best part of a Twinkie. And you don't get a cardboard, so there's no good part to this Twinkie. I'm sorry. So anyway, why did we get Twinkies? Because I was thinking about Grandma Adams, because I was thinking about how weird it was that she started painting. Interesting. So there is my, where does dad's art come from? Could be his mom. Kurt's creation says, I love Twinkies. <laughs> well, I will tell you about Grandma Adams. Grandma Adams had, I guess it was a bread drawer. Mm. And if you were really good, it got through all the chores she wanted you to do and came over to her house. Then you could go in the Twinkie drawer. See, Dad Twinkies. didn't follow with that tradition. No. No, we just came over and had to do chores. You didn't get there Twinkies? Were, there was no, no, there was no tweak drawer. No, there you go. I should have had a Twinkie Which drawer. Which is probably why, as adults, we don't do chores. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love the Twinkie drawer. It was the reason to go to Grandma Adam's house. <laughs> See, I might have been more inclined to do my chores. <laughs> so there is my Neil Adams. Lillian Adams story, Twinkie story for today of family. Where does art, Neil's art come from? Could be his mom. mom I don't had know. had some surprising talents that we didn't know she had too. Well, but that didn't like when mom, mom, dad, I'm just saying, where did dad's art yeah, possibly sure. come from? It could be his but mom. But I'm just saying like the hidden talents of, of so dad went to, uh, it was originally called the School of Industrial Art. And now it's um, uh, art and design, art and design. Yep. here in New York. But uh, yeah, mom took up photography for a little while and was really good at it. 
which that well, was, mom got that's through surprising. school supposedly by decorating the boards in the hallway of the school. Help yeah, get well, her through. I mean, I got through school by like making lovely art presentations of whatever I was supposed <laughs> to write about. Like I would dazzle them with the artwork so they didn't pay attention that I just copied out of the encyclopedia. I think that's what our kids do. They dazzle. They dazzle. Yeah, they don't fall while. for that crap anymore, though. No. Yeah. I don't think so. Teachers are no longer as easily Okay, so as they what is everybody saying? Just watch preview trailer for Joker 2, Good with Lady Gaga. I've only seen the one with the laughing. I have not seen the long one yet. And Twinkie Goop. Got a corner the marker on that opportunity. Hey, you need to eat a Twinkie. And then look at the white cardboard that the Twinkies are on. And then you scrape that goop. It tastes better than Twinkie. <laughs> Twinkie and anybody who knows my dad knows that's true. <laughs> uh. Sam got through school with help of the GI Bill. Join the army. Yeah, have you met an Adams <laughs> army? No, they're not made for military or, no. or family. No. Except that dad's dad was military. And dad probably could have, and we probably could have, but our, our brains just don't go that way. No. Not at all. I mean, we do have some Neanderthal genes in us. I did that 23 and Me, and when I did it, it, it showed... Um, the Neanderthal gene, and it says you've got uh, more Neanderthal in you than I think it was like 80 something percent of the general population. So, wow. yeah, hmm. we're gonna have to talk about that. Today. <laughs> well, it makes some sense because it is very easy for us to build muscle and hard to drop. Mm. So. Okay, so it's 7 33, so I'm actually gonna get moving with our show. Oh, sure. Now that I've gone and got my fingers sticky. Well, I'll wait till you get down your got Twinkie it. there. I will just get sticky goo on the paper. On the artwork? Mm -hmm. It's always good to get sticky goo on there. We'll just wait. No, back. you're handling the artwork. I'm handling the papers <clears throat> that you have to go through later. Okay, so we are going to be making our announcement on prices for the gallery books on Friday. I believe this week. Um... And that would be the gallery books over here, which we talked about on Friday night, which is behind me, so I'll move out of the way a little bit. The gallery books are, um, these are two more editions of the same interior that IDW is doing, Scott Doombear is doing. Uh, these are the Neil Adams book. One is the, oh, I'm sorry, we're going forward. Oh, oh sure, because I'm focused there. I was thinking. <laughs> I can move this. So, one of them is the Five Way Revenge for the Joker with the Batman card, 251. The other cover is the Superman Kryptonite Nevermore, a DC classic. So, these are our editions. There is 100 copies of each one of these versus a million copies of the other copy covers, which would be the Ra's al Ghul cover and the Green Lantern cover. These only have 100 copies. So there's 100 copies of Superman and 100 copies of the Five Way or 251. We will be announcing the price on our show Friday. Friday. Right. And then we'll be taking pre-orders on Friday. Now, this book doesn't come out till I hear October 1st, so it does have a long wait. And Ford, you should stay on because Chris has got something fun that you're going to be into. Oh, that won't be for a while, though. <clears throat> so, anyway. <clears throat> so, Friday night, tune in, and we will uh, definitely have prices on our books. <laughs> it's Friday somewhere. No, it's not. Nope. <laughs> it might be Thursday somewhere, but it's not Friday. I'm going yet. to miss the info on Friday. I'm sure the info is going to be out very quickly across the internet that you'll find it somewhere. 
It just says, but that's why I came on today. I hope that's not the only reason you came on today. <laughs> Might be. Who cares about that show? Let's just buy our Batman book and get out of here. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so I'm going to start. Randy Funk is watching with us. Hey, Randy. I'm going to take a slug of water. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to go. So here we go. And away we go. Yep. So the way it works <clears throat> is you would just write claiming whatever you're claiming. You would write that in the comment bar the same way everybody has said hello to us or asked questions or made fun of us. Yeah. Um, you do that in the comment bar. We will acknowledge you. And he is on the Long Island Railroad on his way home. I remember those days. I remember those days, too. Especially the ones that we would stop by Carambas before going home. <laughs> Not a problem, Jeff. Like I said, it'll be out there Friday. We'll be advertising it. Everyone is running articles on it. Um, so I'm sure you'll, you'll find it one way or another, what the price is going to be. Yeah. The information will be out there to find before our show. Exactly. On Friday. So. Well, here's the fun part, Bill, is Nick doesn't know. <laughs> Nobody that. knows what the prices are. So, um, okay. So where are we going to be? And I was going to begin with Prince. So Prince have to be paid in full. They don't have a payment plan because they are not artwork. And we're still going. Okay, for a minute I thought we got stuck. <clears throat> Those over there for a minute. Okay. I did find a couple more of the Harley Quinn but Puddin, he said he had to go out. Harley Quinn piece. So she put him out. So she put him out. Exactly. So this is 100 to buy. You would claim that in the comment bar if you're interested in buying it. And that's my coloring. He is coloring. And this was done, obviously, on a sketch cover. So... Again, this is a print. It is 13 by 19 Harley Quinn. A lot of people had asked, do we have any more of these? I did find like two or three. And they are available for Anybody out there? 13 by 19, Harley Quinn. Which now the only sad part is we won't have any Lady Gaga's. Because mm. it would be cool to see what Dad would do with Lady Gaga. Okay. Then a lot of people were asking me about Tommy was asking, did I get that Harley? Did he get that Harley? I don't I know if he did, Tommy. Because this was one we didn't have much of. And we can I can put you on the list though. Right. We'll put you on the list. I'll double check your list and see if you're interested in it. <clears throat> I would just call it the pudding because that's how I know it. Harley pudding. Oh, noisy elevator. Mm. Need some oil. <laughs> well, if you, you know, the tone is just right for an ohm. Mm. It just you know, changes all. Okay. We have a 13 by 19. <clears throat> this is a Star Wars cover that Neil did. Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren. Because some people have asked me about, you got Star Wars. So I did dig up two Star Wars. 
and I don't see any of my Star Wars people on tonight. <laughs> so this is 13 by 19. The price on this is $100 for Kylo Ren. It was a cover that kind of blipped by that Neil did. So it is a cover from a comic book. We'll double check for you, Tommy, just to make sure we don't double up on you. Right. So again, Star Wars, Kylo Ren, this is the first time. Tommy is claiming a Kylo. Okay. Aaron owns this cover, right? I believe he does, Sam. Sam keeps track of who owns what covers. Yes, I noticed that because he has to be the lead dog of cover ownership. <laughs> Okay, Star Wars Kylo Ren is going to hit the table. $100.13 by $19. Okay. Uh -huh. Now this, oops. <clears throat> this is another Star Wars piece, which I don't think we've ever even shown. Nope, this is in the trash compacting room. Right. This was a painting that Neil did. Um, this was going to be a cover, and then something went down between Marvel and whatever, and it never, uh, never happened. So this painting kind of got put away. And this is a view from under the water when Luke gets sucked under the water in the uh, trash compactor. Correct. So Luke and the monster are under the water, and then you see up through the surface, there's Han and Leia trying to find them. Right. So again, 13 by 19, $100. Okay, Tommy is taking a Star Wars. Thank you, Tommy. Again, a painted piece by Neil hasn't been out there publicly, even though he did this years ago. It'll be on the Neil Adams Appreciation page in the next five minutes. <laughs> okay. Next up is a Marvel cover. This was our Rhode Island cover variant, which has many Marvel characters. Oh, it's all the X Men. Mm -hmm. So you've got the Cyclops, Magneto, Angel, Iceman, Storm, Beast, Nightcrawler, Colossus, Wolverine, and Marvel Girl. Again, 13 by 19, $100. Okay, Tommy Braden is cleaning this one. It's really richly colored. It's a really nice piece. These are all on uh, the same paper that Neil draws on, so the paper quality is great on this. That page that banned me for liking Gustavo's post. Oh, is that why you got banned? Okay, I got you, Tommy. Thank you. All right. Next up is last week we sold Dogman. So I dug up the 13 by 19. This is the Sasquatch print. That Neil uh, sold only a couple of copies of this. Um, this is 13 by 19. This is pencil, ink, and color. 100% all Neil Adams here. $100 for Sasquatch. This was based on the Cryptids and Sasquatch Bigfoot Dogman um, video that Neil was working on. Whether they are real or not. 
It's this funny because you can only just barely catch the two Sasquatch and the shadows behind the guys, too. Right. They're back there looking at you. you. Yeah. So again, $100 to buy. This is a gorgeous piece by Neil. Uh, this again, like I said, was based on his Bigfoot. Uh, what would you call this, his project? His Bigfoot project? Um, well, we had many names for it, but <laughs> it's basically his, his study of cryptids. Right. A bit touch moderators there. Be careful before you spend the whole weekend uploading your collection of you band. The next day, not that I hold the grudge. Hmm. You must have done something, Sam. Yeah, I mean, you gotta admit. Because usually <laughs> Clifford, Clifford never takes anything down. Actually, the person who does take things down is Chris Adams. Mm -hmm. So did you do something that upset me, Sam? Uh Oh. And I don't, I usually I don't kick uh -huh. anyone out. Usually it's just a matter of I make them take it down. So, okay, $100 for Bigfoot. One, one screen choice. I'm surprised. Um, People have been asking for that one. You know. Mm -hmm. All right. Don't confuse me sometimes. I have Dogman, which is very pretty. 13 by 19, another one that is pencil, ink, and color, all meal. You like Gustavo's post. That is all I did, I swear. Well, what did Gustavo post? <laughs> uh, Andrew says it got a bit aggressive over there over Gus's 3D Ah, I remember that time. People were getting bitched out at Gustavo. I see. Okay, 13 by 19, Dogman. This is pencil in color on this print. And my airbrush may have kissed this guy. Does he have the airbrush may have kissed this guy? I have $100 <laughs> to buy the print. Speaking of Gustavo, hi, Gustavo. <laughs> Troublemaker. Hola. Okay. This is a happy day. Um, this is actually one of Neil's favorite spreads out of Batman Odyssey. Uh, the train. I like the floppy ear on Batman. <laughs> it cracks me up every time I see it. So this is 13 by 19. This is a spread that hangs in our old lobby which now does not hang on our walls yet, but Chris is working on that. Well, we don't quite have as many walls as we used to. I was going to put art up. Now, for a while, I didn't want to see Dad's art, so I didn't put it up. Yeah, but, but lately, we also don't have as much wall as we used to. There's places to put stuff. I didn't want to put stuff up. I mean, the only stuff that's up is what Rich put up. Yeah. And I just didn't, I wasn't, I didn't want to see Dad's art in a weird way. Ooh, <laughs> she. So this is one of Neil's favorites. From Batman Odyssey. This is 13 by 19. This is Neil's pencils and ink. For $100. Check our image on Instagram real quick. Okay. Okay. Right. Down on the table. <laughs> Gustavo says 3D rules. <laughs> All right. This is a print 13 by 19 pencils of one of Neil's 27 covers. This is obviously based on the Dead Man cover originally. Can you this say is okay. Uh Tommy, you're claiming the, the Batman Odyssey spread, right? So this is Batman um, coming out of Batman's body versus Dead Man coming out of Dead Man's body. And this cover was inked by um, Walt Simonson, actually. 
This is Neil's pencil to the 27 cover. This is $100 to buy. It is 13 by 90. I like this one. Yeah, it's a really nice pencil. Gotcha, Tommy. <clears throat> and also, just so you guys all know, these are Chris's picks. <laughs> True. Because <laughs> Chris went through the prints today. Crystal Bell favorites. Yep. Nice work here. It's good that Happy Towers isn't on with us. Okay, this was another pencil that I picked. This is the Joker, Joker number one? Mm, no. No, this was Detective Comics. This Detective was Detective Comics. Yeah, yeah you were correct. Because this wasn't part of the Joker. No, it ones. wasn't. So this is, again, the pencil. Uh, this was actually inked by Brent Anderson, if I remember correctly. Okay, Tommy, you're claiming the Batman standing over Batman pencil, correct? What do you want to call that one, Chris? The Batman 27 covers? But then I call Batman. it Batman 27 covers because that's actually what it is. Z is going to get you up to that Joker in a minute. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay, you and you want this one too. Gotcha. Cool Joker overhanging there. Well, two of the moderators are myself and Jason. So you don't have to beg us, Sam. If you want to get back on, we can get you back on. I got you, Tommy. Uh, these are regular prints, but even our regular prints are on really good paper stock. Um, this is not the watercolor stock. All right, and Sarah wants to know if we still have any of these signed 27 covers books. We do not. Um, and that's not to say, Sarah, that I might find one at some point, but we're pretty much sold out of those. So, okay, Joker's going to hit the table. Tommy, yes, it's Joker over, over the Gotham's Mansion. Right, and that was Detective Comics. Yep. Sarah says rats, but you never know what we'll find, Sarah. Yeah, they, you know, every time I think we don't have something, I find a little rabbit hole of <laughs> something. Okay, this again is the... Um, 27 covers. 27 covers where Superman was holding. Wonder Woman is holding Superman. Yeah, I know, but it used to be Superman, Superman was holding. holding. I don't know who he's holding over their head. But we had to swap it out, and now we have Wonder Woman holding Superman up in the air. And this is 13 by 19, $100. This is part of the 27 covers. Sarah says he was holding Batman. Batman. Yeah, I was pretty sure, but I knew if I said Batman, it would have been somebody else. <laughs> Will the 27 covers be in the artist edition? I don't think so. In the artist edition. Oh, you Books. mean in the 20s? No. They really went much more um, old vintage. school, vintage on that. Gotcha, Tommy. I would be really surprised if there's any of the 27 covers on there. Plus, I don't think, um, well, DC would have the finished ones, but I doubt it. I think they went very strong vintage on that stuff. You'd have to ask people that own the covers. <laughs> like <laughs> Sam. Sam, did they reach out to you for the gallery book? Okay, I'm going to put this down. Now this one, this one I think is a winner. I he says, nobody one. asked me for a scan. There you go. Oh, I painted that one once. 
This is a really nice piece. It's 13 by 19. It's Neil's pencil and inks printed. It is Joker, Harley Quinn, and poor Batman on the ground there. <coughs> I refer to this one as the gift. The gift? Okay. She's gifting Batman to Joker. Ah, so this is $100 to buy. I like that one. I thought that was a great piece of art. <clears throat> and Tommy is cleaning this one. Okay. Gotcha, Tommy. I'll just have a private show with Tommy. I know, it's your Because <laughs> <laughs> some of these we've never even had at the conventions, guys. <laughs> okay. Next one up is Batman. Now this is the Warner Brothers store print that was made. This is not the Warner Brothers print because that was much bigger than this. But okay. this is the image from the Warner Brothers store that we did. This is 13 by 19, $100, Batman. Which also adorns our kids' pediatrician's office. <laughs> this is true. And that is the waiting grave down below. And all the poppies. Yep. So again, $100 for this piece. I think we may have a new viewer, Shannon Link. Is she new? That's she, new seems, she seems to know Sarah. So. Sarah, you bringing friends to our show? I sure do appreciate it. All right, Tommy is claiming this one. What are we calling this one? Uh, this is Warner Brother Batman. Okay. I got you, Tommy. Okay. <clears throat> Next up is Green Lantern, Green Arrow. This is the famous cover from one of the books. One hundred dollars, thirteen by nineteen. I call this one the face off. Because they're both screaming in their faces. <laughs> 13 Sarah. by 19, 100. Sarah says, if he's a friend of Mike's, he's a friend of mine. Oh, Shannon's a, a deep. Sorry. You can kick me in the shin if I'm ever at a convention with you. For that one. <laughs> uh, Tommy Brazen is claiming Green Lantern Green Arrow. Okay. <laughs> Gustavo tried to get Neil to pose with me as the hard traveling heroes. No avail. Well, who's who, Gustavo? Well, Dad would have to be helped, would he? He's got the hair. I know yeah, Gustavo, like, at one point, Gustavo's got the mustache and goatee, so okay. he has to be Green Arrow. I see. That's what that was about. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to move on. God, guys. I, like, work really hard today. All right. Poison Ivy, which we have had this one up. Before 13 by 19... This one's mom's coloring, Corey Adams coloring. 100. This is also a sign print by Neil. He had it. Gustavo says, I wanted to be Green Arrow right on, Z. <laughs> well, he had, a, he had to do, uh, I think, about a pencil 
sketch of himself as Green Arrow or like yes, something like that, and he had me color it. Yep. So Poison Ivy, Pencil and Ink Neil, color on this is Corey Adams. He says clean Poison Ivy. Gotcha, Tommy. Okay. I'm just going to call this the Tommy Braden show for now. Oops. A lot of people are on vacation this week. I see them on Facebook on vacation. <laughs> okay. The oldie but a goodie. I wonder if this will be in the gallery book, guys. Well, this is the cover of Batman 241. Yeah. 13 by 19, $100. At dawn dies Mary McGuffin. That sounds like a joke. Mary McGuffin. Somebody's dying in my background up here. That was Mary McGuffin. <laughs> so 100 for Batman. Shoddy Ski, we are announcing the price for the gallery book on our Friday show. But there will be announcements and such in comic book news. All over the place. All over the place before then. Someone should write an authoritative <laughs> article on Corey's work. Hmm. 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 That would be interesting, but it would have to be Chris. Actually, <clears throat> as much as Dad may have a cool book, yeah, moms would be <laughs> to write about Dad. Mom's got a pretty interesting life. So there aren't too many moms that actually started in the roller derby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, Shadi Ski, yeah, we have um, uh, IDW is printing a gallery book. It will be out in October, yes. but we are announcing our prices for our two covers, which of which we have 100 right? each of our two covers. Um, we are announcing the pricing on those on our Friday show. But like I said, there will be in some news, uh, comic book news, whatever. It'll be all over. It'll be all over the place, right. so. And Tommy is asking, a wall plaque on the wing you work in will be cool someday. Or a sponsored wing or shows brought to you by Neil Adams and Adams Family super fan <laughs> Tommy Braden 84. And Tommy's great Tommy Braden was claiming the Batman cover. Okay. Kelly Graves says, I'm serious. In my former life, I was a historian. I love a book on her work. I don't have a book on mom. Mm. At least we wouldn't have so many people that thought they were experts on mom as they do on dad. What? At least we wouldn't have as many people who thought they were experts when it oh. comes to mom as we do when it comes to dad. Because everybody <laughs> and their brother thinks they're that an expert on dad. Well, I thought the funniest one was recently they had a dad wrote his email which was the most feminine handwriting I have seen in a really long time. And everybody was saying it was dad's handwriting. Oh, that. Well, first, all right. What killed me about that is to okay, begin this with, is for assuming Andrea. that dad knew what his email address was. Okay, so Andrea, <laughs> this is the running Batman pose that everybody thought would look nice up against your Superman Nevermore. Mm. This is it, finally. This is 13 by 19. This is $100 to buy. This is the famous Batman running pose. <laughs> that is true, Andrea. So this might look nice up against these Superman like kind of dress. You just have to imagine the orange. <laughs> Am I doing it? Yep, you're good. Well, Sarah Snyder says, I have that Batman print next to the Nevermore print and it blends beautifully. Oh, there you go. 
And Gustav wants to know, did DC use Corey's colors in the treasury facsimile of Razo Ghoul Saga? Um, supposedly. If they're doing the actual facsimile. Okay, Tommy, I saw your claim for the Batman cover, which I'm assuming is the deep blue Batman. So you also want this one too. Running Batman. And Andrea is saying she'll take it as well. Okay. All right. That's a running Batman. All right. What else did I find? Well, I did find this, which I gotcha, did. Tommy. I did this for myself. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> this is the 27 cover. Obviously, it's based on 251. And why does Chris Adams love this cover? Because it's Aquaman? No. Why? All right. Everybody has to tell Zia who inked this cover. Oh. Oh, okay. Now I get it. <laughs> Let's turn my head sideways and interpret the signature. It's Brian Boland. Yeah, no, it was not Bill Sinkiewicz. Bill Sinkiewicz did was the. My, uh, it was Green another Arrow. stab at Chris trying to get a Brian Boland. <laughs> <laughs> and all I got back was dad. So um, this is 13 by 19. That's right. You didn't get the inks, did you? Huh? You didn't get that. Oh, it wasn't about that. It was just about I wanted like gotcha, Tommy. a Brian Boland. Oh, okay. I did not want any Adams. It wasn't about owning the original. It was it was just purely like, like oh, he was a crazy so, man. So Boland inked Neil. Boland didn't do Boland. Right. Gotcha. So the, the story is we were doing crazy man. I wanted a bowling cover. So dad drew the coming crazy man coming out of the grave. Yeah. And he was like, okay, send this out to bowling. So I'm like, okay. So I'm like, oh, cool. I'm finally going to get, I'm finally going to get. <laughs> and uh, came back and it was like, damn, it looks like dad inked it. It was, it was like not bowling. <laughs> it was dad. So I have that framed. I have the comic book cover frame, actually Pete framed it. For me and it's in a really cool frame and it looks great in my bedroom and that satisfies me fair enough so oh i discovered brian boland during the uh judge dread days when forbidden planet opened in new york was the first time i guess i got my hands on british comics mm -hmm. and uh both ellen and i fell in love with judge dread and we couldn't get enough judge dread and with the ones that Brian Boland drew were the best, and all the covers were great. And um, and that's how I found Brian Boland. And then I have never asked anyone for a signature in my life. And I Brian Boland had come to New York. I did bring in all of my Judge Dreads, and he signed the, all the covers. And I was happy. So there is my Brian Boland. So if you could get Brian Boland to draw any one of the continuity <laughs> characters, any one of the continuity characters, which one? I think I was super crazy, man. I think crazy. one of the reasons why crazy man in, as Brian Boland would be great. Chris is only a fangirl with a certain. Chris few. is rarely a fangirl. I am like probably the least. Sometimes it's a character like. Galactus. Sometimes it's an artist like Brian Bull. Right. I do like Galactus. <laughs> okay. This was a um, a print that we put out, I want to say probably like four or five shows ago. Um, and I did find another one of this one. I actually have not found a scan of this. Uh, but this went very quickly, the two or three copies that we had. I did find another one. And um, 
I mean, the killing joke is great. I mean, it's a hardcore story for sure. So 13 by 19, Batman and Batman. And, and young Bruce Wayne. Batman and Batman. Big Batman and baby Batman? Baby Batman. Mm -hmm. Tommy Braden says, cool, you love Judge Dredd. Who doesn't love Judge Dredd? Judge yep. Dredd is awesome. Great Wonder Woman, too. Yeah. I mean, he, I mean, he's definitely an artist that can draw. Gosh, Tommy. And if you're an artist who can really draw, you can draw anything well. So Brian Bowen is pretty talented. So okay, 13. Tommy's claiming one of these. Okay. So this is a really nice print, guys. $100. Okay. Then I pulled this one up because you know how I talked about how Neil likes to do that reflection, reflection in water? And here is, this is like probably the first time I ever saw Neil do it, was this pencil, which came out of a portfolio. And I thought, like, this is a really cool drawing. I mean, even the thought process of doing this is kind of cool. So this is $100 to buy, 13 by 19. Man pulling man from puddle. I'm going to call this one the prisoner. No, I'm going to call this one Ma'am Pulling Man from Puddle. <laughs> okay, that's shorthand. Well, it is. It's a man pulling a man out of a puddle. So $100 for the pencil. This is one of those finished pencil renders by Neil was not designed to be inked because we did the inking work in pencil. Andrea says, a title that just flows. <laughs> I don't think it's Conan. No. Not no. I love how, and then the, the word psycho across her thing says, I don't think it's Cognac. <laughs> <laughs> Cognac. Mm. I don't know what our uh, translator is thinking tonight. Translator's loaded. Right. <laughs> Gustavo wants to know when the Easter Bunny is coming back. Well, the Easter Bunny, the person in the Easter Bunny costume is going to be our Cinco de Mayo guest. That's right. Cinco de Mayo is our next fiasco of, uh, of shows. Easter Bunny only comes once a year. Well, this this year the Easter Bunny came two times. Well, but came up till Easter, yeah. and then they have to go be an Easter Bunny. Okay. Which we were very lucky to get the Easter Bunny before Easter, because usually the Easter Bunny is very busy. That's true. So this again is one of those twenty-seven covers. This is the pencil that Neil did. Wonder Woman. That person will be coming as our guest, Il Guapo. <laughs> well, you know, Sam, we can't have everything. Did somebody beat you to it, Sam? Tommy Raider is claiming Wonder Woman. Okay, I did find <clears throat> two more of the black canary pinks. This was another one that people asked, do we have more of? I said, I'm not sure.
So Black Canary Pink is 13 by 19, $100. Because we do have some of those pencil covers still that we have here. Mm -hmm. Tommy says, I think I got the black canary. Yeah, thing. I believe that oh, Tommy did yeah. get this one. And I also he was pretty quick on the draw last time. Right. I think Tommy also got this one. So yeah, this is this the one. bust of Captain America, Thor, and Iron Man. One of the vintage Iron Man masks. Yep. $100 to buy. Obviously, he saw Batman's helmet and thought that was cool. <laughs> Actually, I think... I think Thor's helmet wins on this one. Yes, well, his wings are big, bigger than Captain America's. Mm. Randy says, who did the colors on Black Canary? I have an original sketch with the same color background. That well, was actually a trifecta of Dad, me, and Jason. Yeah, because I was going to say the splatty effect is going to be Jason. I did most of the figure dead, went in on the hair, and then Jason did the background in effect. Okay. This will show. This show. Just making sure that I got through all my stuff here. This will show. These are the ones that showed last. We have a moth. Boy, last time it was cockroach, now it's a moth. <laughs> Thank you, Sia. <laughs> I do have a 13 by 19 Harley Quinn animation. On a card at one hundred dollars, signed by Neil. Early in a saucy version of her original costume. Um, I have Watchmen. This is all the people of Watchmen. 13 by 19. This one is on that nice watercolor to play stock. So this is nice with the Neil Adams signature down there. $100 to buy. The Watchmen crew. Gotcha, Tommy. Tommy's getting me Harley. Okay. Well, like I said, this is on that nice Chiclay paper. I have the green team. 13 by 19 on the nice Fisher Clay paper. Hey, Tom is clearly watching it. And the green team. Okay. We have the Batman Odyssey. Well, no, nope, I'm actually not going to put that out. Okay. I have the 251 at original size from 
the original 251 cover. This is an actual scan off of that original. This is on that nice Jaclay paper. It is 1117 because that is original size for $100. And this is also what is on one of our right, on treasury, our gallery books. Books. gallery books. Why do they call it treasury? Because it's yeah. big and seems like a treasury size thing. It is treasure. <laughs> It's a nice 251 here. Gives it to us, it's the precious. Is. Mm. Uh, Tommy is not sure whether he has the 251. I don't think he does. I don't All right, I'll put I you down that. and we'll check. I don't think I can. Then I will double check his. If you put a question mark next to it, then I will definitely check it. Okay, last print for tonight is the 13 by 19 Superman Nevermore. So I'm doing my two covers for my gallery books as my last prints here. So this is 100 to buy. It is signed by Neil. See. Not a very good golem, Gustavo. I don't do a very good golem. So again, Superman Nevermore. Prince out of the way. And Tommy's asking if he did the Superman Nevermore. I don't think he has Superman Nevermore. All right, we'll check on that one. Too. Put a question mark next to that one. And we'll check it out. Okay, so if anybody wants a print now that they've seen all the prints, now would be the time to say something because otherwise I'm going to put. All these prints to the side, side, very hard to unbury at that point in the show. We're also tonight, we're going to cut the show a little short. <clears throat> and we'll be on, on our usual spot Friday for our long show. So if anybody wants a dog man, a Bigfoot, a nice black canary screaming, X-Men characters. I pulled out a lot of stuff. I even showed a Star Wars piece that you guys have never seen. Right? You know we heard crickets. <laughs> really? Except for Tommy. <laughs> okay, so anybody on Prince, last call. <laughs> Sam says cutting a trip because Tommy bought the store. <laughs> was Batman Odyssey decided not to show was accident or meant to not be shown? The pencil that you went, oh, I'm not going to show it. No, no, it has a crink on the top. Oh, okay. And I didn't. That I, one was damaged. That so. one was damaged, and I just want to make sure I have more before I do something. So it'll either be back. It's a nice, it's a nice one. Who wanted to know? Um, <laughs> who'd you think? I don't know. Ooh, this one has a weird thing. This one's Is it not perfect? He's not. What am I, chopped liver? That's true. She Andrea claimed a uh Okay, the one other songbird. <laughs> oh Jason, these Happy Tower says were. what was the Star Wars Grover? No, it was actually um it was Luke underwater in the Whoa. trash compactor, looking up and seeing Leia and Han looking for him. Okay, this is for Tommy. Do you want to see that one, Happy Tower? Boom, baby. That's the first mess we've made in a while. That was for Tommy. 
And Andrea. And Andrea. Sorry. Andrea's going to kill me. We have replenished on the bomb. Did Felix want to see it? Yeah. I think it's actually right yeah, on top right there. there. Lucky boy. Boop, 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 boop. Right. So I'm going to zoom in on this so Felix can see. So there's. So you're looking through the surface of the water up at Luke, at uh, Han and Leia, and then under the water is Luke and the monster. Well, you're under the water. You're under yeah. the water with Luke. Right, but up. you're looking up from under the water, seeing right. Han and Leia. Right. And then there's Luke under the water. So this is what you don't see in Star Wars, basically. Yes. And this is a painted piece. Nope, not Corey Colors. This is Neil Paints. Yep. Neil painted the whole thing. And this is Vibrant Colors. Yep. Well, this was going to be a cover for Star Wars comics for Marvel, and then uh, something went down with the license over at Marvel. Happy says it's cool. I'm going to pass, though. Okay. Alrighty, then. Okay. I'm going to put stuff over here. Okay. Um, I did pull out my X-Men hardback books um, that are absolute size. This is the original X-Men um, stories by Neil and Roy Thomas, or Roy Thomas and Neil, uh, with its original color in a large format. And we're selling these because we're down to the end of these books up here at Continuity. This is uh, Neil's X-Men collection, and this is signed by Roy Thomas on the cover, and you have Neil Adams on the inside. What's that silver in the red? Yeah. That was a nice choice. Except Roy did not have. Well, he did have silver. I don't know why he chose the cover. Maybe because he didn't want to be next to Neil. <laughs> <laughs> and we're selling these for $250. Signed by Neil and Roy, the two and creatives on Tommy X-Men. Tommy is claiming this. No, it does not have a drawing inside. No. No drawings on the inside. So this is called the X-Men Treasury? Uh, no, this is this X-Men Hardback. Okay. It's the only X-Men Hardback. So 250. Thank you, Tommy. For that. Okay. I can blow another bomb. Well, you know, once you blow the once first you blow bomb, one, then you're you gonna well flood the vacuum crazy. cleaner anyway. Yep. These are harder to do. I don't like this batch. I don't think we have any more of that one that had drawings in the room. No, we've They're still, all gone. We would have to find one. I think the only thing that we have with the drawing in it is the monsters book with the werewolf. That and we have blue lady still. Oh, blue lady. I don't want anybody to buy blue lady. <laughs> I got you, Tommy. Here we go, Tommy. Oh, no. Uh. <laughs> Do you need help? There you go. Do you need to move that one off? Kick it. Oh, wow, this one's tight, too. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Get two for flinching. Here we go. Artwork. Artwork? Artwork. Okay. All right, here we go. Dun, 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 dun. It is Wacky Wednesday. 
All right, where's uh, where's Ford? Ford, are you still Ford here? Kelly Ross. He likes this stuff too. Okay. Uh, Kelly, uh, Kelly goes for the advertising. Ford goes for the animal. So this is actually for Raisin Bran. This is Neil Adams. Excuse me, pencil and ink. I have a crow and I have a sun. For Raisin Bran. Wait. I would buy this just for the sun. <laughs> Sam Green says cornflakes. Were these raisin bran or cornflakes? It said raisin bran. Hmm. Well, I think it worked on dinner. No, raisin bran has the sun with the smile and the and the uh, rooster. Rooster. So I believe that is raisin bran. I mean, we worked on a lot of cereals, so. This is from our animatic work. So this is from a test commercial for Raisin Bran. And the price on this is $250. It will have a certificate of authenticity that will go along with it, stating it is Neil Adams. Yes, Sam, I gathered that by when you said cornflakes. <laughs> So 250 for the sun end of my rooster. Nope. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was a wow. fun. I thought it was a fun piece. I was not expecting that. Did everybody see the solar eclipse? Or were you clouded out? Okay, I'm going to put these out because a lot of people were like, oh, I wish I could have, would have um, last week as we were ending our show. Because um, some people bought foil, some people then wanted to get both. Um, so I still have for right now, but I'm starting to run low on these. The Neil Adams Ra's al Ghul Treasury uh, facsimile that just came out. And we are selling the foil edition, which is a complete foil wraparound for 30. 30. The foil is 30, and the regular is 25. Right. So, again, if anyone is interested that didn't pick this up on Friday because these are selling fast. Andrea says she really enjoyed the eclipse, and Sam says, yes, I had an awesome blue. Okay. <laughs> so, Andrea, did you get to, like, leave work and see it, or did you, like, go up on a roof somewhere? I went out on our crazy balcony that looks like it's going to yeah, fall off the building. Chris has got a huge brass pair of freaking ovaries for going out there, man. I, man, I get woogie legs just like looking out there. <laughs> see, Chris is, and she goes and tells me, "Oh, it's not so bad because you don't really see Dan." I said, "No, that's not the problem. It's the problem fall is, off. <laughs> well, there's that, and the other problem is that I have this voice in my head that goes, you can you can fly.'" And luckily enough, there's a louder voice in my head that tells that voice to shut the hell up. But I worry that the you can fly voice is one day going to be louder. You. Yeah. No. So I don't go. A lot of people get that. I don't go places where there's no, that. She was at work, but she got to go outside. So here I'm gonna I'm gonna do a diss and probably pay for it because everyone uh -oh. will say I work for Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> Amazon bought Lord and Taylor is across the street from us. Mm -hmm. And uh, and there was first it was gonna be a uh, what's the places that you go and work in that originally Oh uh, we work we work originally it was gonna be a we work. Then Amazon bought it because we work ran into trouble. So um Let's see, Tommy is claiming both a Batman regular and foil facsimile. Okay. Um what are we calling this? Uh, it's Batman Ron Local Treasury. Treasury. So, uh, 
what was I saying? So everybody over at Amazon, because they built on top of Lord and Taylor's, but you can't see it in the street. They bought, they made it like a garden top of this really nice glass. Yeah, it's like, um, it's like a greenhouse practically. Yeah, and you get to get, like have your lunch in the greenhouse thing out there. So we were really jealous that they built this thing yeah. on top of Lord and Taylor's. And they took away our Lord and Taylor's, or our Lord and Taylor's went out. So, uh, so they were, they all went out, you know, right before the sun was going to do its thing. But because there's a hotel that sits right across the street, the sun had gone down. So they didn't get to see anything. Oh. <laughs> and they got so cranky. And then they just all went back inside. But you can see so the crank. Vengeance was ours. Right. And you just see the crank vibe just go across everybody. Because they were all standing out there. And then as it was moving, it was also going west at That's the right. same time. So by time it was like the closest Properly total. Eclipsing. Yeah. Right. It was not in their sights anymore. Scholastic has that rooftop. Yeah, well, there you go. <laughs> okay, let's see. Back to artwork and what I'm supposed to be doing here. I have a Black Adam headshot for 500, 500 pencil and ink meal. Now, all of these can be colored by Zia for additional fees. You guys all know Zia's great work. Yeah, we have like 20 hotels, but the one across the street is a little too tall. Because even Lance. Pete and I had to go to the very end of the balcony and then push our heads against the screen of our windows to be able to at least see the very last part of it. So, so again, we're looking at Black Adam by Neil, pen and ink for 500 Okay, next up is I have a night owl and an ink by Neil. I want to see somebody buy this in color at. And Andrea had no tall buildings. She was very lucky. Okay, so night owl is 500 to buy. Somebody has to buy this and then have Zia color it. Because I want to see this color. <laughs> I see. Oh, look at that nice. 500. Going twice. 500 going twice. <laughs> uh, Tommy Brandon, no, you did not get Black Adam or Night Owl. I know you were hoping for a Shazam, but uh, as far as we're aware, we do not have a Shazam. No, I don't have a Shazam. I don't ever think Dad did a No, well, luckily enough, Happy, we're we're on the top floor in our building now, so it's a little easier to. I mean, we still have some pretty flipping tall buildings around us, but yeah. What was cool was the lights went on at the Empire State Building when it got dark. So it was like, wait a minute, the lights just went on at the Empire State Building. What's going on? So obviously that's got to go on, not via a person flipping a switch. But. Okay, hold on one second. Tommy, no, those two pieces were not in the bunch that you uh, claimed. So if you want them, uh, now's yeah. the time. Yeah. You were going very superhero -y. When you bought right. all your heads. Not that, not that these not that are, they're not super. Yeah, what I'm trying to say is you went more traditional right. superhero. The regular guys. Right. Yeah, we get great sunlight up here. Yeah, boy, what better than we did before. Yeah. That and we have no walls, so that kind of helps it too. Yeah, it goes right through the studio. Yeah. So, 11 by 14, this is Hulk. This is one of our older pieces by Neil. We call, oh, yeah. we call this one Hulk to the Moon. It is 11 by 14. It is pencil rendered by Neil. Signed by Neil for $2,000. Let me get for a second It's okay. 
you can be sleeping in bed. That's a thing, because I don't think there's any getting out of that. I will say that I think in the end, Neil will be very happy with his gallery book. I think he would begrudgingly like it. <laughs> yes, you are correct, Tommy. I enjoyed my recent visit to New York City. I also visited the cool candy store and the New Jersey Mall with the Amazing Park. Yeah, I did that a couple of years ago for my grandson's birthday party when he was really little. Supposedly they have like skiing in there. And they have a giant pool. So I have Hulk to the moon here. Or two thousand. Oh, somebody's found their voice. She's been doing all kinds of voices back there. I've heard I zombie know. voices. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna put Hulk to the side. I have a fabulous John Stewart piece, very large. This is 1117? Yeah. 1117. Pen and ink, Neil. Color on this is Zia on the figure work and Jason on the background work. And the price on this one it's is 2500 $2,500. Really nice John Stewart. Uh, Tommy, no, you did not get John Stewart. Thank you. You know I like my jewel cones. Yeah, Tommy, no, these are not prints. These, this, this we're is, on original art. We're now. on original art, yes. <laughs> Sam says he can trade in 25 of his prints. <laughs> 2500 for John Stewart. Gorgeous face. I should take this to be a sale. Mm -hmm. We need to play with this on the computer, Jay. I knew that was coming next. <laughs> I felt the well, disturbance in the forest. I just don't know how to crop it for a cover. Because he's a little yeah. wide there. But that would make like a dynamite cover. Yeah. Maybe if I were DC, I'd push that. Oh, well. okay. 2500 for John Stewart. We're going to look into that and see. Okay. I feel it. I feel it in my bones. Yeah. <laughs> we may win that one. I'm, I'm slowly learning what dad went through. Huh? I'm slowly learning what dad went through. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> That, that, that I gotta do all the art. <laughs> this piece to do, that piece to do, this piece to do, that piece to do. No, but that's like your cover. No, I know, I hear you, and I ain't complaining. All right. I'm just and saying, I'm know. getting a little bit more understanding of Dad's position, that's all. That's mad. Maybe a banner, a banner. How oh, Dad no. would say that to you. What would it take to make this a cover? Oh, I know. I know. I hear you. I hear you. Okay, 11 by 14, Batman. This is Batman with the short ears. As I call this one, Dark Knight. Dark Knight. Neil's Dark Knight. Neil's Dark Knight. Um, this is 3,000 to buy. I'm sorry, my fingers will just go up there for a second. 
Uh, this is 3,000 to buy. It does have a certificate. It has a certificate of authenticity, which is one of our old ones, which actually has Neil's um, fingerprint. fingerprints on it back when he was doing fingerprint certificates. Then he got tired of having inky fingers. <laughs> Chris, no, why am I doing this? Why am, why am what I would do is probably continue that uh, space. Up above them and give a little bit more room below them as well. Time to open that door with these damn marble guys. Time to be obnoxious, Chris. This is color and red blood spatter paint. Yes, that is correct. So pen ink is Neil. Color on this is Zia. And it comes with Zia's little layout because if you follow Zia, you know that Zia always does a small layout. Yep. When she lays Almost down always. her color. This is a really nice Batman piece. Cannot believe this piece is still here. I'll just take it to Frank's house and sell it to Frank. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Frank, Dad did your back. I'm actually taking Frank's little super that he did at Frank's. So. It's a quiet night, you guys. I think this week is... Uh, I mean, did anybody get caught in any of these tornadoes and stuff like that that have been going on? I mean, the weather's been like absolutely bonkers. All right, so next up is an 11 by 14 Hulk pencil where he's bending a girder. It's a signed piece by Neil. Cool Hulk piece. Price is three thousand. Now this is one of those finished pencil renders by Neil. Happy Tower says, I've got to be ready. <laughs> For what? I think he's got to have his finger on the button in case Tommy spots it first. <laughs> you know, Tommy, you put the ice in there, a fellow viewer's blood. Would you come on? <laughs> there you go. Tommy Bond. Yeah. New nickname is Tommy Gun. Tommy Gun. Yeah. It's a happy diver says exactly. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna do Robin. The Robin Uplet for eighteen hundred. This again is a pen and ink by Neil, uh, with a lot of pressure on this piece by Zia to color, uh, because this was an uplit. This is Neil going. I'm going to do something I want to play with. So he decided to do a very heavily up uplit Robin, as if he's being lit through a roof. Yes, he's running. This is eighteen hundred to buy. Really nice piece. Um, it would get a certificate of authenticity to go with it, and it is eighteen hundred to buy.
something may have gone screwed with Instagram. Uh oh. Do you think her? Well, we haven't been on for an hour. Let's see if Instagram is still running because my screen on here just went black, which means I'm not going to be able to read it. I can go on. No, I can go on Instagram. All right. Well, I was going to shut us down here a little bit. Anyway. <laughs> and then I think uh, Instagram ended. Uh, oh, wait. Nope, nope. It's still there. It's still there. No, no, no. It's still there. No, no. Okay. All right. Uh, Ryan, I was trying to text you back to say thank you. We never tire of hearing how much people love dad's art. And that's the truth. Okay. Next up, I'm going to go off the path of the. So, this is Batman Urban Legends. This is a sketch cover that Neil did ah, back in oops. 2021 uh, because there's a certificate of authenticity from the Krusty Bunker on the back of this. And the price on this is 1800 1800 And it's Joker and Batman. Oh. Again, this is a sketch cover by Neil. Sign cover. Eighteen hundred is the price on that. And says, Tommy needs to come over to Facebook. <laughs> okay. And Desert says, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next one's up are, this is now Zia art. So Zia did a detective comic Batman and Batgirl sketch cover with a Famous Batman, the Poison Pin Puzzle. It was originally the Poison Pin Puzzle, but you know, movie dolls. Right. So this is based on a Neil Adams cover yep. that Neil has, Neil, that Zia has turned <laughs> into one of her voodoo pin dolls. Which is can go to CGC. And my CGC, uh, my sketch covers have been coming back pretty regular with a 9.8 because I do take very good care of my books. But I'll bend them up as I show them. Okay, Tommy says, claim Batman Urban Legend sketch cover. Um, that's hand-drawn, Tommy. And that's a real piece of art on a cover of a comic book. Okay. So that he knows for sure. Okay. Oh, Thank you, Tommy. Put this on there. Thank you, Tommy. Drawn by Neil in the studio, yes. Yeah, this is, uh, I have a feeling it was It was actually drawn in California at the Krusty Bunker, which is our comic store. Okay. Over. Okay, gotcha, Tommy. Okay, so we're back on Zia with the Batman Batgirl. And the price on this is 400 to claim the Batman. Caught in the spotlight. <laughs> stuck, stuck to the backlight. <laughs> Ooh, he's caught. And what does it say? It says, the last chapter of this book will end the legend of Batman. Oh, my God. Talk about drama. Oh, it's always drama. Drama, it's Batman. drama. So this is based on a Neil Adams cover. It is. Do you have Dad's cover? I have a copy of Dad's cover, but it's in the other. It's over by my desk. Well, if we don't sell it, we'll show it on Friday night. Okay. So. 
But yeah, I had to make his legs a little bit longer just to get that spread. Otherwise, he'd practically be doing a split. <laughs> <laughs> so, Thank really cool piece. Pen, ink, and color. All Zia hand lettering, Zia. I'm that's impressed. hand lettering. Yep, that's all I'm that my hand. All my hand. Right. $400 to own the Batman Batgirl. And this can be CGC through Zia's account. Yep, and you will get a, a yellow label for this one. Because I have an artist account now. Aren't we just going places? I'm Zia? going places, baby. I can say when I knew you when. <laughs> you and a lot of other people. Uh -huh. <laughs> like the old guys at Continuity, when we used to do the Continuity Christmas parties, used to tell me, I used to change your diaper. I'm like, I don't want to hear that. <laughs> I don't think I would want to hear that. I don't think any of them really did either. No, nobody changed your diaper. I can say I changed your diaper. That's yes. about it. All right, I'm going to put Batman back on the wall here. Uh, Tommy, that is different from your 411 book. Your 411 book is, is the one that's uh, overhead, which actually just got packed up for CGC today because Jason finished his part. But the... Uh, the, the 411 book is a Voodoo Doll version of the 411 cover. This is a different cover. Just like this is another one of Zia's Voodoo uh, covers, but this is a, obviously a Green Lantern cover. Yeah, and this is actually not, wasn't a cover, this was actually a panel when Jon Stewart first gets his costume. And again, this is Zia. Pencil, ink, and color. Right, Tommy Satali cover was the other one. Right. And this is claim for 250 See, we have to get the panels and the covers that we can put. <laughs> we can put to the side of them. Yeah. Well, John Stewart actually came out really cute on this one. Yeah. And he's got a cute face. Oh, this one is very cool, too. Mm -hmm. So $250 for that. All right, I'm going to do one more piece, which will bring us to 9 o'clock. Well, I'll do two pieces. What you got, Chris? I'm going to do Hawkman, because he's been sitting back here. Hawkman! Back. Hawkman's been sitting back here nicely, patiently waiting. So I have an 11 by 14 Hawkman pen and ink meal. Color on this is actually Tim Shin for I know I did the Space Ghost voice, but I didn't switch it to Hawkman, but I liked it for Hawkman. <laughs> <laughs> or was it Birdman? Birdman! Birdman! <laughs> Birdman was a good one. Wow. I'm talking about being picked on tonight. <laughs> Am I being picked on? So we, again, we have 11 by 14 Hawkman here. My Neil, color on this is Tim Shin, <clears throat> pencil and ink Neil on Hawkman. Am I like that bad when I don't even know what I'm being picked on? <laughs> it could be. Nice Hawkman piece here. With a signature by Neil down there. Okay, and then my last piece for tonight is going to be the shadow cover. Now this is shadow number one. This is a published cover by Dynamite. So this is original pencil and ink, original art, published art. Scan and pan. Scan and pan. Scan and pan. 
Well, he wasn't on the original list, so. Ew. He added to the list. Ew. He fell off the invitation list, huh? <laughs> Shadow knows. That was Dad's favorite thing to do. Who knows what he will learn from the art of man? The shadow knows. Uh, 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 uh. Which Dad would do that all day long. Oh, he, I can't see the character in the shadow without hearing Dad doing that. Yes, I know. Best thing that Dad used to do. Dad could do a really good Tarzan yell. Oh, the yodel? Yeah. And when he was, he, well, our first continuity, the guys used to fall asleep in the back room after being <laughs> up all night. I'm sorry I missed that. And he would go in the back where they were laying down and four inches from their head, he would do the Tarzan scream yell and they would jump like five feet into the air. <laughs> I mean, continuity 48th Street. Great place to be. Many <laughs> artists came through there, but it could be a mean place. <laughs> it was. It was like having like a studio full of brothers. Yeah, that would just rag on each other all the time. Although I think the best one was the the acetate with the ink spill on it mm -hmm. on top of the artwork. That was the best one. That would have driven me insane. Well, they actually redrew what Dad drew really well, and then they did pour ink on it. Really? Oh, that's that's a uh, so that Dad that's a determined had a, prank would have had a heart attack thinking it was the acetate thing. Wow, that's so. Yeah, see, so yeah, continuity. We always took it another step forward that's, for that's for so mankind evenness. Gotta <laughs> gotta one up each other until you're dead. Yep, it was kind of like that. So, somebody should write a book on 48th Street. <laughs> oh, I don't think people want that stuff coming out. So, okay. Because I actually think the first drawing of Gru, because everybody thinks they know oh, the Gru's first Wanderer. Drawing of Wanderer was, I think I could predate those Gru's that they have. Because I think we have a Gru that Sergio Gru drew. On, on, one the, on one of the papers off the desk of 48th Street. Ooh. So. Cool. So anyway, that is our show for tonight. If anyone would like to see anything again, I will gladly show it. Tommy should get for his buy of the Batman. Should at least get a bomb for us. Or if anybody is interested in any of my voodoo doll art, Feel free to contact me. Chris is swapping off her bomb in this year. It's just like a cool, mild, relaxing night up here tonight. It is kinda. Nobody's like yelling. Okay, for Tommy. Oh, that was like that one. Prematurity. <laughs> Confiniation. Well, I tried. <laughs> That's still not as bad as the big bomb that just went. <laughs> that was funny that night. Well, the two nights Poor of bombs mom. was the one really bad bomb. Oh, Happy Tower says I am going to come to claim to the moon on PayPal. I mean PayPal get on payment plan because I'm afraid of Tommy. Okay, Happy Tower. All right, Happy Towers. All right. Well, I have to find it now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, to the moon is over here. Thank you, Happy Towers. Here we go for our Thank last you, look of to the moon. Let's Sam go. Green is asking, how much is the shadow cover? The shadow cover is six thousand. It's actually a fantastic price. All right, and Tommy Brain is asking if he can see the Batman sketch cover again. Uh, if it's handy. Yep. Just give me one sec. Let me get Happy Towers. Is it here? Here. And Tommy, the piece that Chris has just taken off of the screen is the one that Happy Towers just claimed. 
Yes. That is. Happy Towers, and we're going to do a bomb. And then Tommy Brady says, congratulations, Happy Towers. Yes. Everybody has to point nice. You know what it is? I don't have, you know what I don't have is my official Happy Towers. That's what we're going to oh. say. The That's why it's nice so quiet. The Happy Tower is here, Anoya. Yeah. For Happy Towers. <laughs> so I'm funny. having problems getting my big bombs in, guys. So I'm sorry for these little bombs, but I'll make it up for you when I get my big bombs. We'll do a big bomb. Okay, and then who wanted to see tell what? Me, tell me I wanted to see this again. Oh, sure. And Dennis 4x4 four four wants to know, is the CGC 9.4 Batman throwing Batarang and Lightning Bolt still back there? If so, I'll claim it on the payment plan, payment plan please. Uh, Try to say that three times fast. Yes, it's the 9.4 for 3,000. Right, so, Tommy, this one is your piece, and Chris is going to pull the one that Dennis 4x4 four four is asking for. Oh, Happy Towers, we know you've been wanting that piece for a long time. <laughs> That's why I haven't had it out. <laughs> okay, so Tommy's good on seeing his thing. Yep. Okay. Over here. Okay, and then now we're showing this for Dennis 4x4, four four, who is four saying he four. would like to claim this. <laughs> Thank you, Dennis. Four by four. So anyone who claims stuff tonight, make sure that you send a note, direct message us. Your real name. You should also write that because I because I'm coming in after Rich used to do this stuff. And like today or the other day, I got some, somebody's real name, but they did not put their Instagram name. So to, to pull it together, I didn't quite know what I was dealing with. So it's good if you're on Instagram and you bought something. It's like I would write Dennis 4x4, but then put your real name, the address that I am shipping to, and an email that I can then send you your bill to so that you can then pay on PayPal. Okay, so Dennis 4x4 is definitely taking this? Yes. Okay. Thank you, Dennis. And smart move, Dennis, because Tommy just said he had his Tommy, eye on that one. You know one. what? Tell Dennis, hold on a second. Um, I don't think I'll have a problem because we're going to have to send it back to CGC because it does have a crack down here. Okay, so it just needs to be. But it's, it is the outside of it that is cracked. So nothing right. should change in That's regards right. to um, the rating. the rating on it because it is still sealed. It's just the outer part. So I can I can get this to CGC. They will replace it. The question would be, and I can find out, is would you like, um, I don't know if I can get it, but the label with the face. The label with the face. I can find out if you're interested in that. But I need to get this fixed for you. Just waiting to hear back. From yeah, you, Dennis. This is a really nice piece. This piece is really nicely drawn. So, Dennis, we all good? Then we send it back to CGC to get a new shelf? And do you want, if I can get it with the little head, do you want the little head? The little Neil Adams head? I don't have any little Neil Adams heads to show you. Are you still there, Dennis? <laughs> I can talk to him through Instagram. Okay. 
in case he like I don't know, he may have disappeared. did it and disappeared. Sometimes they do that. Okay. Well, this is. Oh, he says anything is fine. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Cool. So yeah, they've been they've been doing a fairly quick return when it comes to the. Uh... Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Misfire. <laughs> These are not good. These new <laughs> guns are not good. I just killed myself. This is why kids, you don't play with guns. <laughs> yep, you never know when they're going to go off. Especially or misfire backwards and shoot yourself. <laughs> okay, we're at this for right before. <laughs> no consistency in this weaponry. <laughs> no. Okay, guys, so that is our show. Unless somebody wants to see something, obviously, if you see this show while we're not on, you definitely can just direct message us. We pick up our direct messages. If there's a print that all of a sudden you're feeling different about, you can always direct message me if you want the foil Batman. Those are the type of things that people second guess later in the evenings. Um, we've been adding them on to people as they've been asking for them. So once again, you can always direct message us anything you see, and we will be back on Friday. Friends, I didn't even know you were there. Friends he said good night all. So we're going to say good night. So Z, say good night. And thank good you, night. everybody who purchased from us, and we'll be in touch. Ford, you're back. Did you see the rooster at the beginning, Ford? And, and don't forget to direct message us if you bought stuff tonight. You are sneaky, Brent. <laughs> We're like skulking in the back corner waiting to pounce. Good night, happy towers. Very right, beanie brain. Say right. good night. Well, for if you if you didn't see the rooster, go back to the beginning and press show the rooster. I'll go on stuff. Friday night. Okay. If he's around on Friday night. All right. See you guys. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Bye.